I want to share with you a common struggle that a lady named Sarah went through, even though we have many common struggles, dark moments that we face, such as loss, depression, fear, hopelessness, things of the past, things of the present, and fear of the unknown future, which is actually the definition of anxiety. I want to share with you her incredible journey, a woman whose life was transformed by faith and prophetic counsel during one of the darkest periods of her life. A few years ago, she was faced with an overwhelming series of challenges. She lost her job, her marriage was falling apart, she felt utterly hopeless. Every day, she felt like a battle she was fighting against some unseen force pulling her deeper into despair. She could not see a way out and doubt consumed her thoughts just about all the time. In her lowest moments, Sarah decided to reach out for help. She found a prophetic life counselor who listened to her story with compassion and shared a powerful prophetic word, which makes all the difference in the world if you are going to go to a counselor. Make sure it's someone that has gifts of the Holy Spirit and also uh, has knowledge about just being a good listener. The counselor reminded Sarah of God's promises and assured her that she was not alone. They shared the scripture from Isaiah 41.10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This message struck a chord deep within her. She began to pray earnestly, asking God for guidance and strength. You see, this is all really prophetic counselors are for, is to help a person that is at a point where they need some assistance from another Christian that happens to have qualifications and uh, trust that you know whatever you share will not go any further. Uh, she began to pray earnestly. She asked God for guidance and strength. She also took some practical steps as advised by her counselor. She joined a supportive community. She started journaling her prayers and thoughts, and she immersed herself in uplifting scriptures every day. Slowly but surely, she began to notice changes. You see, th sometimes these things just don't happen quickly. You have to take the first step and then the next step and to believe that the Lord will take you through to the last step. Her faith grew stronger and she started to see glimmers of hope. She felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination. With her counselor's support, she found a new job that not only provided for her needs, but also reignited her passion. Her marriage, once that was on the brink of collapse, began to heal, and she and her husband sought God together, which is what I always tell people, make sure you're praying together. Today, she stands as a testament to the power of faith and prophetic counsel by someone that was with the Lord and that she could trust. She often shares her story to encourage others. This is another big part. You have to go out and share as you feel led to in the season that you feel comfortable doing that. Reminding them that even in the darkest of times, God's light can shine through and bring miraculous change. Her life is now filled with joy, with purpose, and a deep-seated faith that continues to guide her through life's challenges. For those of you that are going through great darkness, the Lord has put on my heart to spend just a few moments and give you examples of each one of these common struggles that you might be facing that is not easy to live through, go through, but to let you know that the body of Christ is praying for you 
and I am here for you as well and just a phone call away you can find all the information at propheticlifecouncil.com that's spelled prophetic life council c o u n s e l dot com i want to get on now to identifying some of these common struggles that the lord has put on my heart because there's somebody out there there's no doubt in my mind that's why the lord has me doing this to let you know that god is with you and you can give him all of these problems and find Uh, help with a counselor as well. Identifying common struggles. Let's take a moment and acknowledge some of these dark moments that many of us face in life. I have faced many myself. These struggles can be overwhelming, but it's important to remember that you are not alone. Number one, loss. Whether it's the loss of a loved one, a job, or a significant relationship, loss, and I'm going to add into that, animals. If you have a pet that is like your only person that's in your life because you live alone, so many people live alone, and this is a big, a huge thing that people come to me constantly and they are having many problems many problems but i want to just stay focused with this <clears throat> excuse me uh, loss whether it's the loss of a loved one a job or a significant relationship loss can leave us feeling empty and grieving the pain of losing something or someone dear to us can be incredibly challenging to navigate I'm sure that you have gone through something like that. Possibly right now you are going through that. And if you are, please leave a comment that um, the Lord has led me to do this for you guys. And so uh, the second one is depression. Depression is huge. Many people experience depression at the same point in their lives. Isn't it interesting how loss and depression go hand in hand together? It's more than just a feeling of sadness. It's a deep, persistent sense of hopelessness and worthlessness that can make even the simplest tasks feel impossible. Depression can isolate us. It can make us feel as though we're in a dark tunnel with no end in sight. This is exactly what people come and they tell me they're going through many, many times. Fear is another one. Fear comes in many forms. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, which is anxiety, fear of actually the future, fear of the unknown future, fear of not being enough. How many people are still trying to Uh, qualify themselves in the eyes of somebody or a family or they just have grown up with a bad childhood where nobody was edifying to them and people just told them constantly you know you're worthless you're not good for anything this can all stay rooted down inside if we don't pray through this together and let this go to the Lord and also recognize that it was there and that through knowing that it was there, then you can heal with the uh, correct help. Fear comes in many forms. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of not being enough. It can paralyze us and prevent us from moving forward. Fear often exaggerates our insecurities and convinces us that the worst case scenarios are inevitable. Can you believe this? But this is what people are so frozen. You know, real fear many times paralyzes. And that is exactly what we're talking about. Having so much fear that you are paralyzed and you can't move forward. You can't you can't think straight. You can't even get up and go to the refrigerator to get some food to, to eat lunch or, or, or dinner or anything sometimes. Hopelessness is another one. 
when faced with prolonged difficulties. It's easy to lose hope. Hopelessness is that feeling that things will never get better. No matter what we do, we'll never find the light at the end of the tunnel. This can lead to a sense of despair and resignation. These dark moments can feel like they're consuming us, but it's essential to recognize them and understand that we don't have to face them alone. Through faith and prophetic counsel and the Lord, we can find guidance, strength, and hope to overcome these challenges. In closing now, I want to encourage you to subscribe, like, and share the video if you found it helpful. And also know that on the website propheticlifecouncil.com, we do have additional resources and many other things like ebooks and um, other new things that we're going to be adding to the website. And I want to leave you with a few scriptures because God does have your back. And there are wonderful Christian counselors and the body of Christ that also are ready to pray with you as well. Um, James 1, number 6, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. And also, we want to remember Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. You see, you don't have to be stuck. There's no reason you need to remain stuck in any of these awful situations. And so I pray with you this day in Jesus' name that, Father, you bless that one that is listening, that is watching, and that you show them that wonderful path. And as you say to them, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful time together. Now, Lord, we ask that people, if they find value in this, that they will leave it in encouraging comment for someone listening and also that they will share the video and if they need further assistance that they will go to the website and that they will reach out and will be blessed the rest of their day in Jesus name. God bless you for watching, for listening to this brand new time again of this podcast in Jesus' name. I look forward to seeing your comments. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.